both PHP and Python are very powerful languages. Sometimes you might want to run a Python program from your PHP code. It might be a ML algorithm or a crawler or anything else. And it's very easy to do. Do you remember when we talked about exec function? We can run system commands. So we can run a command that runs the Python program and then the Python program would return something and we catch the return and then we do something with the return value in PHP. So let's do it. So first let's go here and create a new file called like say hello.py. Now this Python file is going to say hello PHP. Now I can use the exec function here in my index.php exec and run python. What's the name of the file? Okay, python say hello.py. This would return something. I want to get the output that python gave me. So I'm going to save it in this variable and I want to get the result code as well in case we need it. Now I expect PHP to run this command, then Python would print this and then in my file I'm going to store it in this output. So I'm going to work on the output and now the moment of truth, let's run the code php.index.php and amazing, it runs the Python code and then gets the output, hello PHP and we can do anything we want with it here. Isn't it amazing? It's so powerful. Now let's talk about the security of doing this. It's always a good idea to escape all the shell commands. We can use escape shell cmd function. What's that? Let's see. Escape shell shell cmd. This is a function that takes the comment as argument and would escape any character in a string that might be used to trick a shell command into executing arbitrary comments. Yeah, it's very important for security. If I wanted to run this command again, but with security in mind, I would do something like this. My command would be escape shell cmd the command I want to run. Then it would return a safe command. And then I would put that command there in order to run it. And I will get exactly the same result, but in a safer manner. Now, what about argument? What if we wanted to pass some arguments to our Python code? That's super easy. That's just another system command. So let's change our Python code so it would get some arguments from our PHP. This is not a Python course. So I'm going to write this part and increase the speed of recording. Now in Python, this code is getting uh, the argument from the system. And if there is no argument, it would say, hello, my friend. If there is an argument, it gets the first argument and consider it as the name of the person and says, hello, the name in capitalized and then exclamation mark. Let's see if you run it from the system, how it would work. It would say Python, say hello, that pi. Oh, okay, in this part, I should <laughs> remove this. Now let's run the code again. It says, hello, my friend. But if I pass some argument like Amir, it would say, hello, Amir. Perfect. Now let's run this command from our PHP code. Now here in my command, if I pass Amir, I expect this to output, hello, Amir. Let's see. And as you can see, it has outputted, hello, Amir. But if I don't pass the name here, I will get PHP index.php. Hello, my friend. That's amazing. As I said, both PHP and Python are super powerful. And now that you know how they can interact with each other, the possibilities are like endless. That's the end of this section. Let's go to the next one.